With all the new ranching and farming gameplay going on in the Sims community right now, I figured it's the perfect time to do another installment of our series, Building Stardew Valley in The Sims 4. In this stop motion build, we'll be living out our dream farmer life on a Stardew inspired homestead. This upgradable farmhouse has a mushroom cave, wine cellar, cow barn, chicken coop, and more. So let's jump into it. We are back in Bridleton Bay, which is acting as our pelican town for this build series. Right now I'm building our fully upgraded end game Stardew Valley farm, but I've also built a mid game and starter farm on this lot as well. So if you wanna work your way up to each upgrade, I've shared all three versions of this on my Sims 4 gallery page. This is a small lot for all of the stuff I had to fit in here, but I did my best to max out this space and crammed as many key Stardew farm features as I could. Over on the left, we have the cave. I filled it with mushrooms cause that's my favorite way to use it, but if you prefer, you could swap out those planters for a fruit tree instead. For all the plants on this farm, I try to use crops we have in both games. We of course don't have all the same plants in The Sims as we do in Stardew, but I try to make it as accurate as possible. Next to the orchard is the greenhouse. This end game farm has the repaired and fully stocked version. The mid game farm has the repaired but empty greenhouse and the starter farms greenhouse is all broken and in disrepair. It could be pretty fun to come up with your own rules and goals for being able to make repairs and upgrade certain things as you work your way up from the starter farm to this one. At the front here is our barn and coop. When I built the original version of this lot, I didn't have cottage living, so I just made a barn shed thing with fake stalls and put some crafting stuff in it. Now that I have cottage living, I revisited this lot to swap in a functional animal area. If you don't have cottage living though, there is an older version of this on my gallery that doesn't use it. It'll still be a fun farm to do all the other gardening and homesteading activities we have in the game. I don't have the new horse ranch pack, but if you do, you could absolutely add horses into this lot too. It's a bit cramped, but you could probably scale down the orchard and put a horse stable over there. This deluxe upgraded farm has fully stocked crop fields and a landscape yard, but in the starter version, it is scaled way back. I put in a bunch of rocks and grasses and trees everywhere, sort of like the state of the farm when you first inherit it. We can't clear out weeds, chop trees and stuff in The Sims 4, but you could make up your own rules for how you'd be able to slowly work through clearing stuff out. Maybe set a price for clearing each area that you have to earn before you can do anything with it. Let me know what other Sims farming gameplay ideas you have for making this more difficult in the comments. Inside on the right, we have our Southern room upgrade which I turned into that typical plant sunroom area you see in so many Stardew decorating builds. I've also got a pet bed in here. I made sure to include stuff for cats and dogs, so whichever farm pet you choose, they'll be taken care of. Attached to this room is our farmer's bedroom suite. I made it very cozy yet colorful at the same time with lots of greens, yellows, and reds. So similar vibes to Stardew. The bathroom suite is quite big and I tucked a bathtub into that alcove with the big windows. It would be a gorgeous spot to take a relaxing soak after a long day on the farm. Having a mudroom is essential for any farmhouse, so I made sure to include one. It's got extra pet supplies, a place to wash up, and access to the basement. Down here I made into our cask cellar. Most of this is just aesthetic, but I did include a juice fizzing station so you can brew up some stuff down here. If you have the new horse ranch pack, this would be a great spot to renovate into your nectar making cellar and storage basement for aging your nectar bottles. Like I said, I have an older version of this lot and just recently updated it to include cottage living. I actually did this and built the downgraded versions of this farmhouse on stream last week. I still have more Stardew Valley lots I need to finish that I'm planning on working on during stream. So if you wanna come by to hang out and build with me, I'll put my Twitch info in the video description. 
I am brand new to streaming and have a full-time job, so I'm starting out slow and committing to just one stream per week on Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. When I can, I'll throw in some other streams here and there. So if you can make it, I'd love to have you join me. The second floor is pretty much all for the kids. Up here, there's a nursery, two toddler bedrooms, and two bathrooms. Your kids in Stardew only grew up into toddlers, so that's what I decorated for. But you can change these rooms up to suit whatever your Sims household looks like. With these rooms, I try to include some iconic Stardew items like the big blue bear plushie, which that Blarfy was perfect for. I also used a Void Critter Poo from Snowy Escape in another room because it reminded me of a Junimo plushie. The very top is the attic, which is empty when you download it, but that is for a reason. I actually made interchangeable spouse room builds for each Stardew Valley marriage candidate. I also made Stardew Bachelor and Bachelorette households you can download as well. So whatever spouse you choose, you can place their custom room in this attic. I'm showing them off here. Let me know if you can tell which room matches which marriage candidate. When you download one, just make sure you rotate the room so that the stair space matches up correctly. I had to rotate the rooms to the right once when I was testing these, so it may be the same for you too. And that's everything. Let's jump into the cinematic so you can get a look at how our farmer changes this lot over time. I love all the farming and ranching gameplay going on in The Sims right now and think this is the perfect lot to live out your Stardew Valley dreams in The Sims 4. We don't have all the same mechanics in The Sims, but you could definitely come up with some fun challenges for your Sims to do here. I would love to hear your gameplay ideas, so definitely share them all with me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you are also excited to play your best country life in The Sims, click the like button. It really helps out. I have plenty more builds coming, so if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Remember, be kind to yourself today, and I'll see you next time.